Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And um, I was suspecting that um, what we talked about, 24H2 and the uh, SFC uh, forward slash scan now command line might not be necessarily a problem, but more a interpretation of how things are happening in Windows. And after the blog post, um, I've had a lot of replies, one about 23H2 that does exactly the same thing, which means 23H2 was like that too for a lot of people and probably for everybody. And also um, there's been one or two replies of um, 22H2 uh, before they moved on, noticing that it was also doing that. So, of course, this has to do with the fact that when you do a scan to check out if there's problems in Windows, it always reports that there's corrupt files. And I suspect that the corrupt files are not necessarily a problem. Uh, that's, that's a little bit like um, when we start looking at the event monitor. The event monitor will report problems all the time. And that event monitor... Um, a lot of people are, are scared. They're like, well, you know, I'm having a PC with tons of errors. Yeah, but an error is not necessarily an error. It could be simply a task is not responded in a specific amount of time, which could be normal. So um, I'm starting to wonder if that um, SFC slash scan now might be a normal reaction to a specific number of events that are happening. Somebody told me that uh, there was a possibility that it was reported before and all of that. Um, one, sh one thing for sure is I can't answer really that question much because I don't use that command very often. I use it if there's an issue. Um, it seems some of you are using it a lot more than me because they're maybe worried about problems in Windows or something, but um, I, I use it when something really is happening and I want to try to fix it. It's, it'll be part of my routine of what I, I'm going to use to fix it. Um, you know, let's, let's, let's do a little something here. So this is the insider build. I'm going to do CMD. Ron is administrator. Let's, uh, let's check it out here live on this video. So SFC forward slash. Scan now, and um, see what it does. Now, this PC is a little slower than a lot of other PCs. We'll see how much time it takes. Uh, but like I said, I suspect that maybe it's kind of normal and doesn't mean there's problems. It just means that maybe certain things are not to what the uh, process is looking for. Uh, but it's definitely interesting to notice. And it's interesting to see all the feedback also. And this is what I like here is when people react to videos. And we could see that, oh, okay. We could find a pattern, certain situations, certain ways. Uh, but it seems that uh, I've, I've had almost uh, uh, as many rec um, reports from 23H2 users saying that it's like that all the time on their build too. So it's not a 24H2 problem that we learn now. Uh, is it a problem? That's where I'm not sure because by the type of verification in the processes, it might simply be in the state of how files are. And remember when Windows is working, a lot of files are open and change all the time. So I'm wondering if the uh, scan now feature might not be simply falsely reporting on some uh, of the corrupt files, basically. So this one is running right now on my uh, Windows Canary build. So that'll be interesting. If, if there is a build that might have errors, is of course a Canary build. But uh, we'll see. I'm very curious about this and um, to see what exactly it will uh, report here. I'm pretty sure it's going to report there's some curve files here too. 
Um, once you have the corrupt files, of course, there's a log. You can go and check it out. And we're going to show you once this is done where to get the log. If you want to try to decrypt what it's trying to tell you, uh, it's going to be uh, something to check out. If you have Windows issues, if you have problems all the time, um, corrupt files in Windows is something that is to check out when something is wrong, including with Windows updates. And so by doing this type of verification, sometimes you can, um, you can, you know, see if all of that fixes any issues you have uh, for sure. And, you know, including when you shut down your PC incorrectly, like in the middle of a session, because maybe it froze or something's wrong. So it's almost done, 92%. And uh, we'll see what's going to be the response to this uh, scan now on the Canary build of this machine. Here we go. Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files and successfully repaired them. Okay. So, I, you know what? I'm guessing this is all the time. I will be doing it in Windows 10 and uh, in, in the next video. We're going to check Windows 10, too. So um, the log is in Windows, logs, cbs, cbs.log. So let's go into File Explorer. Let's go into this PC. See, let's go to Windows, whoops, Windows. And then we'll go to logs. Here is logs, cbs. CBS log, and this is what it shows up. So let's look at what's in there. Loading database, yeah. Here we go, feature. Let's found adding packages to it. So it's, it's adding a tons of things. I think this must be reporting that there are corrupt files all the time. So we're going to check it out. I'm going to do it in the next video on Windows 10, and let's compare. So this was on the Canary build of Windows 11. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.